Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing fine. Today we will create an icon like this and we are going to add trail animation to it. I had to make similar type of animation a couple of days ago for a project. So here I am going to share the technique that I have used for this animation. So let's start by creating a new fusion composition and I am going to name it as 3D icon tutorial and let's set the frame rate to 25 press the create button to create the fusion composition let's double click to open the fusion composition by default it comes with just one tool and it is called media out i have already imported some icon in my project and today we're going to create our 3d icon from this icon in fusion if you select a tool and press one the content of the node will be displayed on the left side of the window and let's connect the media in to media out and you can see the output is now visible on the screen too because media out tool is displaying its content on screen too press shift spacebar to open the tool search window and search for s rectangle there are two rectangle here we need the s rectangle once added press 1 to see the result on the left window now open the tool search window again and this time add extrude again you may find several tools for extrude but we need the extrude 3d tool press 2 to see the result of extrude tool on the screen too the rectangle is visible now and if you want we can extrude the rectangle so this is cool but we're supposed to develop the icon 3d not the rectangle right all you have to do is to drag the output of media 1 to the extrude 1 input arrow. You can see that it is actually material input. So let's drag our icons output to extrude node material input. The result is pretty good but there is a gap between the top and bottom surface. Now if you try to drag the extrude output to media out input, you can see it won't work. The reason is simple, whenever you want to connect your any 3d tool to media out tool you must use render 3d tool so let's search for render 3d tool there are a couple of render 3d tool available we need this one connect the extrude to render 3d and finally render 3d to media out as you can see that it is now working our setup is completed let's focus on the gap that was created because of the extrude tool if i now select the media one tool which is actually the icon and click on this background tool you can see a merge tool is added automatically understanding the merge tool is crucial so i'm going to remove this and add the same tool manually make sure no tool is selected and then add one merge tool you can see there is a foreground input available on the merge tool so connect our icon to the input of the merge press 2 to preview the merge on the second screen you can see there is nothing because we need to add one more input add a background tool and connect the background output to merge background input so this is the connection that was created automatically so let's remove select the media in and then click on the background tool so this is kind of shortcut to create merge tool we will use this shortcut repeatedly as the tutorial progress Let's preview the result of merge on the screen too and you can see the black screen from the background tool is being showed because background is on the top of the icon and we can alter this by simply select the merge node and press ctrl T. Let's select the extrude tool and see the result on the screen too and you can see there is some problem. The first thing that I can see that the image ratio is not correct so by default you may think that if i now go to media one tool there must be some kind of ratio setting available but you can see there is none so we have to select the background tool go to image setting and you can see the setting is available here if you try to change any setting you can see it cannot because we have to uncheck the auto resolution and the setting is now editable Uh, as our input image is square you can check that by selecting the input image so let's select the background node and set the width and height value to the same value 
as you can see our ratio problem is solved now let's move on to the next problem and which is our background is now black so let's select the background tool and click and drag the color selector tool to our image and the background is now updated our next problem is the icon is smaller than our box so we have to select the merge tool and then increase the size and our problem is solved now the problem is our icon is roundish but the box that we have created is hard on the edge so we have to solve this problem the box is hard shaped because it was created from the x rectangle so select the x rectangle tool now if we found a way to round the corner of the s rectangle it will solve our problem right there is actually a setting for this and if you increase the size of the corner radius you can see our problem is solved we have successfully created a 3d icon from just a single image now let's move on to animate the 3d icon to animate the icon the first thing we need is some sort of way to move the 3d icon for that select the extrude tool and add a transform 3d tool make sure to select the transform 3d tool not just the simple transform tool select the transform tool and press 2 or 1 to see the result on your desired screen in my case i'm going to press 1 and you can see there is a transform tool available for moving the 3d icon so we can use this to animate our 3d icon if you now press on this spline you can see it will open up a timeline using which we can animate our movement of the 3d icon select transform tool and move to the 10 frame on the timeline set keyframe for the transform tool translation xyz should be zero on 10 frame and for the rotation i want to set keyframe 2 and i'm going to set 0 uh, for all x y and z you can see all the animatable properties are listed on the timeline now move towards 100 frames and let's change the position of our 3d icon let's play the animation using the spacebar we have created a simple animation using the transform tool and the spline timeline window obviously we don't want our animation like this so we have to adjust the keyframes now select the transform 3d tool you can see there are some arrow available now for navigate to the exact keyframe so we can use these arrow to navigate to our exact keyframe and adjust the position to get the exact animation that we want so right now our animation is now very simple and the icons are now moving from left bottom of the screen to top right of the screen we can make the animation interesting by adding some rotation value too so let's navigate to the exact keyframe using the same method that i have shown you earlier and let's add some rotation value uh, i think let's add some x value and y value too i think i need to add some z value too let's add just those values as this will be our last keyframe so let's adjust the rotation in a way that it should face towards the user now let's play the animation again using the spacebar and you can see our 3d icon is now slowly moving towards the right top of the screen and the way it is rotating i think it is drunk i don't like the side of the 3d icon it is looking very flat to me because we used a solid color for these so let's change this to gradient and let's select two color for the gradient uh, let's one should be lighter and one should be darker once the gradient color selection is done let's play the animation again and i think the edge of the 3d icon is looking interesting now it is not looking flat like before let's move on to the next step in the next step we'll create the trail animation that i have shown you at the beginning of this tutorial to create the trail animation we need to add a trail tool the trail tool must be added after the 
render 3d tool select the render 3d tool and add a trails tool since we don't need the spline window we can switch up the spline window if you now try to see the result of trails tool there is actually nothing exclusive to preview on the trails tool we have to rely on the media out result to see the effect of trails tool my media out is previewing the result on the right window if you now try to move the animation on the frame zero you will find that there are some glitch on the window and there are multiple copies of icon to solve the problem select the trails tool and click on the restart this will solve the glitching problem and now if you play you can see the result of trails tool the result of trails tool is mesmerizing but there are too many copies of our 3d icon and to control the amount of 3d icon we have to decrease the gain value you should change the value of the gain and test the result in my case i have tested with bunch of setting and i think 0.95 is good for this animation if you now try to move to the first frame you can see the glitching problem is happening again so again we have to select the trails tool and press the restart i think the copy of our 3d icon created by the trails tool are too sharp i think we need to increase the blur size to decrease the sharpness of those 3d copies we can start with the value of 3 and let's go to the beginning of the animation again we have to press the restart button and let's play the result is close but i think i need to adjust the blur value even more let's go with the blur size to 4 and let's play the animation again move to the first frame press restart and then play again i think i like this result now i think the icon is too big for this animation select the transform tool decrease the scale go to the first frame select trail tool press restart and now play well i like the size of the 3d icon now now since we are in a node graph and you might be thinking how hard it is to change the icon at this point of time honestly that is very easy because of these node tool you can just drag another icon now connect the new icons output to the appropriate input node of the merge tool and you can see the result is updated go to the first frame again select trails tool restart and everything is working as expected only one thing that is uh, disturbing me that is uh, the color of the depth of the 3d icon we can change that too just select the background tool and update the colors before changing the value i'm copying the background and and keep it to use it later so we have successfully created 3d icon from just a single image and added trails to it also we have updated the 3d icon and because of we are using the node tool it was quite easy so that's all for today thank you for watching good night